What is the point? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Dockers. Uh -uh, Dockers. How are you? I'm great. How are Bible study secretary? For you. God is using you, my TV. Our home mama. Concerning that, I was told to tell you that you will be one of our guest speakers at the international conference coming next. Are you serious? My God, my God, I can't believe this. You can't say. Um, please, let me cook jello fries before I come back. I'm hungry, Dad. You are not serious. Just the play. Uh huh. Um, but I was surprised they made you one of the speakers. Like, it's can only be God, though. Honestly, Hester, after everything I've done, God still sees me as worthy. Of preaching his gospel here and there. Indeed, it can only be God, though. Yeah, my own best friend <laughs> preaching hey, at an international conference. I beg you. Ha, ha, no, wow. The rest of us are just men like trees. Ah, uh, ah, uh, you are not serious. No. But thank God for deliverance. Yeah, thank you. Thank God he has given me victory Alleluia. over my past sins. Imagine. If I was still battling with masturbation and pornography, what would I have done? It has not been easy, but... God has been indeed faithful, I can say. Yes. And yeah. you, Hester. What? Hester. Uh, it's... God sent you to my life at the right oh. time. And you kept me accountable ever since I told you. It is God. Who am I? I can't thank God enough. Uh-uh. <laughs> What now happened now? Don't feel emotional about this now. See, you know what? Whosoever is in Christ is free. For there is now no condemnation for whoever is in Christ. You are free, Dockers. You are. So come here, come here, come here. Thank you. Come here. Thank you so much. Mm. Are you good now? I'm good. Andy, you're going. All right. Don't forget the rice. It's important. All right. Yeah. Um, again, I say thank you to everyone. I'm glad to see that we have all effectively structured our programs in each department. That's so, so amazing. And I see God helping us. Amen. I believe God will help us. Amen. So, over to you, Vice President. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, can we please give a round of applause to our <laughs> president? All right. Um, so, based on what we collated today, we still need someone who will help to organize the order of the program uh, before the end of the month. So, is there anyone willing to help with that? Anyone? Oh, wonderful. It's nice to know that we are willing to do this work. So, Sister Esther. Yes, sir. You will help to organize the order of the program. No problem, sir. At least that will help to relieve our secretary of too many duties. And I pray that God will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Without further ado, I would like to announce to us that one of the guest speakers for this upcoming conference is among us. So with a clapping ovation and smiles on our faces, <laughs> can we appreciate God in the life of our dear sister, Sister Dockers. Hallelujah. Yeah, Sister Dockers. We are so proud of you. We see what God is doing in your life. We see your growth and your achievements in this fellowship. When we were preparing for this program, 
God laid it upon her heart to use you for the program. And we believe that God will glorify himself through you. Amen. Once again, congratulations. Can you come to the front? Go on your knees, yeah. Let us pray for her. Let's tell it to God that He lay His hand upon her. That the power of God rests upon her mightily. That the Holy Ghost invades her. That the grace of God will be made available. Let there be sufficient strength from her book that, that she will not speak words of her own. That the grace of God will be made available. Let them have a sufficient strength from her book that, that she will not speak words of her own as she opens her mouth that the Lord will feed. Um, yeah, Sister Esther. Yes, sir. Um, actually, I'm not comfortable with both of us sitting inside alone behind closed doors i understand no problem sir okay so why are you here i, I, I just sir i just came to drop the other program i was told to collate oh, oh amazing amazing oh all right um i'll go through it and i will revert okay. if there is any need for corrections yeah thank you sir all right yeah. you can um, sir sir why Excuse me, I don't understand. Why what? I don't understand. Sir, why Dokas? Uh, what do you mean? Mr. President, sir, you have only been picking Dokas to be preaching for the past few months. As if that is not enough. You even made down one of our guest speakers for the forthcoming conference. Sister Esther. Sir? Is there something I need to know? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. So... What is it? Sir, Dorcas is not who you think she is. What do you mean? Sir, I'm only saying this because I don't like hypocrisy. I'm listening. Sir, Dorcas is in a secret relationship with one guy that is yet to unfold. Sir, do you know that she has aborted for this guy six times? Six times. Jesus. Not only that, this same Dorcas. He's also into pornography and masturbation. Jesus, how is that even possible? Sir, you know she's my roommate. I have proof that she has been struggling with it. Especially pornography and masturbation issues. I don't just know why you guys are not sensitive at all. But, uh, but, 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 you, sir, you don't need to think too much. Here is the evidence. Let me play it for you. I was so ashamed. I, I, I don't understand. We have been friends for three years. I know. But how can I confess that I've been struggling with pornography and masturbation since I was a child? I still be an executive in the church. I need help. I want to be free. Jesus, I have to, I have to call. Okay. Hello, secretary. Hello, Rebecca. Yeah. Um, we have an urgent meeting. Gather everyone. Um, apart from uh, Dockers, just leave her to to prepare for the program. Yeah. Thank you.
What is this? Um, probably something concerning the program, the conference. Is it that serious? They could have called me or messaged me. <laughs> doggy, doggy. Are you whining me? Make, Don't you know who you are? Guest speaker. No, no, it is that to be done officially. And where are you going? I'm going for the prayer retreat I told you about. Oh, oh. It's today? Yes. And where are you going so early? Yes, I know it starts by 10 p.m. But I have to get some things first. And I'll be staying at trip because this thing is over. Is that why you're packing the whole watch? It's for five days, Sister Dokas. Jesus instructed his disciples not to carry any change clothes. When they went to preach, just take a look at this. Thank you, Ma. Edilemo, bye bye. Esther. Dear Dockers Drew Jai, we regret to inform you that you won't be ministering at the upcoming conference. Is this a prank? Esther, ah, Esther, ah, what is this? This is because we have discovered your misdemeanor recently. We have it under due diligence that you have been actively involved in pornography and masturbation. What? What? You are hereby asked to discontinue your executive duties till further notice and misdemeanor will be announced in the church on Sunday to prevent such behavior in the fellowship. Warm condolences, President. I told you, you can never run away from me. You didn't, didn't, didn't. Oh, please, please, please. please. Says your Says best your friend, friend, Hester. Hester. Isn't, she, Isn't the she the same, same person, person who exposed you or who else did you tell? tell? I only told Hester. I'm already burnt. None, None of this of is this real. Is real. Can your sins be pardoned? Give it to us. How come the president didn't pardon you? Let the king who has no sin be forced to throw it to Arise, It is not over yet. It is over. over. Everyone, Everyone knows it. Arise, Oprah. It is not over yet. It is over. What is the point? Everyone knows it. It is over. There is no point. There is no point. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Did you see what I just saw now in a flash? Ha! Huh. We need to revisit the message those people sent to us. Hmm. I hope they have not taken any step concerning that. I just hope so. We head straight to Docker's house. Exactly. We have a mission there. Yes. There's no point. I have read the letter. What is the point? They got your idea. She locked herself up inside. She, I don't, she, she I locked don't herself inside. She locked herself inside. Let's go, let's go, let's she go.
My sins can never be pardoned. My sins can never be pardoned. I don't deserve to live again. Everyone hates me. We love you. We love you. Everyone hates me. Dokas. Jesus. Dokas. We love you. Dokas, why? We love you. Dokas. Dokas. Oh my God. You're a chosen generation. Your royal priesthood. A holy nation. A peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of it that called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Come on. Manifest your sonship in this marvelous light. Dokas. Your days of darkness are gone. <laughs> oh. oh my God. I, I, I am sorry, sir. I, I acted based on what Sister Esther told me. I, I should have carried the Senior Friends Association along, but, but I, I wasn't patient enough. Esther, what is the meaning of all this? Do you realize what you have done? I'm sorry, ma. I'm sorry, sir. I acted based on jealousy. Tokas confided in me by telling me her struggles. Allegations about abortion and secret relationship were false. I knew I lied. We prayed about her struggle. And she had a quick deliverance. I'm so sorry. I take the blame on Dosama. I know I've done what I was supposed to do. But I'm here to ask for forgiveness of everybody. Dokas, especially. Please. I am sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> Mr. President. Caleb Astro. Have you forgotten where God brought you from so soon? Have you forgotten what transpired between you and Esther? when you confided in me as a fellowship advisor from Senior Friends Association. We even had an agreement that you should not shut your door. Whenever you are attending to a female, be it the holiest in the world. And God sweat mercy, both of you. You are just us, not to minister or sit at your space for just three weeks. Just three weeks to serve as punishment for your misconduct. We plan this conference together. We approve the guest minister list after seeking God's face. You got information which eventually taught us and you did not even carry us along. You brought out your soul. Caleb, judgment became the order of the day. <laughs> Brethren, emotions and sentiment should not be the determinant of our judgment in cases like this. We need to be discerning and slow to anger. Bible said in the book of Proverbs chapter 16 verses 32, that he that is slow to hunger is better than the mighty. And he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh it. 